All right, welcome back to the show, everyone. Time for our Monday morning conversation. We have with us the one and only Dr. Stanley Feynman. He is with the Atlanta Allergy and Asthma. And uh, Doc, I got to tell you, good news as far as those numbers coming down as far as our tree pollen goes. But uh, do we have to worry about any other pollens through the rest of the season, through the rest of the summer? Well, people who have allergies to pollens do have to worry about the increasing grass pollens that we're going to be seeing through May and uh, sometimes even into June. So we see the tree pollens may be going down, but the grass pollens are coming up. Yeah. Mold is another issue, right? Is that how, how long does that last? Do you know how long that sticks around? Mold is a problem through uh, for Atlanta all the way through the year, in fact. It, uh, mold tends to get higher when we have uh, humidity, uh, especially after a rain, uh, you know, also warmer weather. So we have problems with mold uh, throughout the year. Uh, patients who have uh, allergies and allergies to mold, uh, you know, should be aware of that as well. We get so locked into the spring and trees and that kind of thing to see those high numbers. I guess we think once those go down, we're, we're clear and free. Speaking of which, I've been taking antihistamines since March. Is there ever, ever a period where I get to stop? <laughs> or should well, I just... that's a good question. Uh, I think it depends on the patient's symptoms. And I certainly don't know you as a patient. But, uh, you know, if patients have seasonal nasal allergies, like they have itchy eyes, sneezing, nasal congestion, and it's triggered by pollen allergy, and the best way to tell about that, of course, is to do an allergy skin test. When you do an allergy skin test, then you can determine exactly what's triggering your symptoms. And then you talk with your doctor and you decide what the best treatment plan is. It might be to take an antihistamine, like you mentioned. It might be to take a nasal steroid, which mm. in some cases may be even more effective. In fact, those are over the counter now, but very effective for patients with uh, seasonal respiratory allergies. And ultimately, if those you know, are not helping the patient's uh, allergy immunotherapy or allergy shots, is a disease modifying treatment that helps patients with allergies all the time. All right, gotta ask this question. Uh, we've been in the COVID season, right? As well as the allergy season. I mean, we've been wearing masks. Has that helped out somewhat? You know, I read a report that they uh, do feel that wearing masks has helped. Number one, it's helped uh, reduce even just the viral colds, you know, not COVID, but just the viral like influenza and the normal rhinovirus colds that we get. Uh, you know, through the winter time, because we're uh, distancing, we're staying away from others, and we're wearing masks. Now, uh, in terms of the allergies, the pollen allergies, uh, we do generally recommend people who have uh, pollen allergies uh, when they're working in the yard or mowing their lawn and stirring up a lot of that, uh, you know, a plant uh, particles and things to wear a, a mask. Like, and uh, we've done that for a long time. And uh, although it's not ideal, to help filter all the pollen, but it does may help reduce some of the larger particles, some, and uh, patients may be uh, feeling somewhat better with that. Now, on the other hand, I must say, this has been a very unusual pollen season this spring. We've had uh, over 30 days of high or extremely high pollen counts. I, don't, I, I think I'm very busy seeing a lot of patients coming in you know, telling me that in spite of wearing their masks, they're having a lot of troubles. So uh, it's uh, certainly wearing a mask, you know, helps protect us all, but uh, you might need more specific treatment for your pollen allergies. Gotcha, gotcha. Dr. Feynman, really appreciate you being on with us and helping us out through this uh, hectic pollen season as well as COVID as well. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's great talking with you. No problem. Take it easy.